If you want to take your song from the studio to the stage, then you're going to have to render your stems out of Ableton Live so that you can perform on stage with backing tracks. Hey, this is Will Doggett. Today I want to show you how a brand new update to Live 10.1 is going to allow you to render and export your stems faster than ever. So let's get started. <laughs> Now previously this year, I did a tutorial showing you how to export stems out of Ableton Live. Now one of the bummers is if you use sends and returns to, like for instance in this case on this track, I've got a lead track and I added a reverb to a return track. Now as I showed you in that previous tutorial, if you wanted to render your stems and include that reverb with your piano track, you'd have to go through this long process of soloing out that track, rendering the master track, it just takes forever. But what's cool, one of the best updates to Ableton Live 10.1 is the ability to include return tracks in your render. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I've got my song pulled up over in Arrangement View and I'm ready to render these stems out. So like I showed you before, I wanna go through and select the individual tracks that I want to render out. Now in this case, I'm gonna include my leads, a couple of these pad sounds, all my drum stuff, but I don't want to include my top track, which is my sidechain track. It's just there to sidechain my pads to. I don't want to actually hear it. So with these tracks selected, uh, I'm going to go into my render and export options. The fastest way to get there is Command Shift R. Uh, you can also go up to the file menu and select the option there as well if you want to. Now under render track, I'm going to include selected tracks only. Now I could do all individual tracks, which will render out my master track, will render out my sins and returns, but I'm going to uh, choose selected tracks only, hence why previously we just selected specific tracks. Now you see with live 10.1, we have this new option to include return and master effects. And I'm going to make sure that is enabled. Now there's tons of other options available here. I talked briefly about those in the previous exporting stems video that I've linked to below that you can check out. But for this video, I'm just going to render as basic wave 44 one 16 bit stems. So I'm going to hit export and I'm going to go ahead and save this on my desktop and I'm just going to hit save. Now this is going to render out individual tracks or stems, which is incredibly beneficial when you're performing on stage using backing tracks. But again, the key about using Live 10.1 to do this is it's going to include the effects that I have in my return track. So once my files are rendered, I end up with individual stems that I can drag back into Ableton Live. So I have the flexibility to use multiple outputs to bring parts in and out when I want to. Um, and it gives you tons of flexibility when you're performing on stage with tracks. So if you want to learn more about performing on stage with Ableton Live, then head to fromstudiotostage.com where you can start a free seven day trial that will give you access to every course in the catalog, access to our private Facebook group that's just for subscribers, as well as a monthly call where we get together and I show you what I'm working on with Ableton Live and you get a chance to interact with other people in the community. So if you're looking for courses that will help you go deeper, you're looking for community to support you as you learn to perform on stage with Ableton Live, then make sure to check out from studiostage.com. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial and we'll see you next week. Take care everybody. Bye.